welcome to another elective course at Swinger University. This is Ed. And this is Phoebe. Today we are talking about the Swinger house party we went to in Sonoma. We begin with how we met our sexy friends, stayed in contact, and drove two hours to share a bed, a couch, and another bed. You'll hear a play-by-play how the swinging began and how the swinging continued into the next day. This is where sleeping in class takes on a whole new meaning. (laughs) So today we're going to set the scene and for privacy reasons, we're going to use Brady Bunch names. So he will, well, and Ken and Barbie, not Brady Bunch, but we were running out of names. So we've got Greg and Marsha, and we've got Peter and Jan in here somewhere, and then Ken and Barbie. So just so you know, they're not real names. So hopefully it's fun. We met Ken and Barbie at an event through Greg and Marsha. This event was a hotel takeover. Greg and Marsha had their connecting room next to us. We met them when we went out onto our balcony, they were on their balcony. We started chatting. Eventually, the the adjoining doors opened up and it was a party. When Ken and Barbie got to the hotel, which was directly below us, a floor down, they came up. So now you've got six swinger people. All in one In room. one room. Oh, my God. It was so fun. And we all got along great. Oh, yeah. It was so fun. So we we played. I think did we play before the party? Yeah, yeah. There's a little bit of that, and yeah. a little bit the the night before, and then the next day. No, yeah. Because the we met Greg and Marsha the night before, and yes, because we were there for two days. Oh, right. It was a two day. Yeah, so we had a little pre-party party. Right. Which was great because we broke the ice. We got to know them. (laughs) Broke the ice. (laughs) Broke a few other things. (laughs) It was fun. It was so much fun. Okay. So we met all of them. We exchanged contacts. We had a good time at the event. And we stayed in touch. So we, as we talk about in our earlier podcast, we use Kick to stay in touch. Right. And we're all on there. And uh, we have a... Kind of an ongoing thread with mm-hmm. both of these couples. Yeah. Ken and Barbie contact us. Right. And they say, hey, our parents have the kids for a whole week. We're going to plan a house party. We're going to have some people over. We've never done it before, but you're invited. Great. Tell us when, where, all that good stuff. So we don't even have their address or phone number or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, so. Yeah. so we're like, we're in. Sounds good. Sign us up. <laughs> so we're super excited. We check in periodically just to keep the excitement going and make sure the event's still going to go on. Hey, how's it going? You, are we still on for the event? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're still on. Great. Initially, they were going to have, I'm I'm imagining, eight said, people. Yeah, small they said something gathering. like, you know, four couples. Yeah. Kind of a thing. Couple couples... Couldn't show up. Some people eventually did. They had a unicorn lined up. A friend oh, of theirs yeah, who was a unicorn. They, they were they were texting her throughout the night going, Yeah, she was a little shy. Please come out. Please come out, little unicorn. We'll be gentle. I know. You she... can just watch. You can be the towel girl. I know. She would have been perfect for that. I mean, you can be shy and still participate. And the first party that we had with this group, there was actually a unicorn who'd showed up. And she was only interested in watching. Oh at first. yes, that's right. It started that way. It <laughs> it slowly progressed into <laughs> anything but watching. Because uh, yeah, yeah. By the time you've got someone down between your legs and you're being eaten out, that's not watching anymore. I no. mean, not by most people's description. She did stair step into it. She. Oh, yeah. First got naked, well, watched, then got naked, then was comfortable playing with girls only, and then transitioned over to males. Touching. But, yeah, it was gentle. It was giving her little hugs and rubs and a little massage, which I'm sure 
did nothing to help smooth her transition into debauchery. But I, what? I totally forgot about that at the at the hotel takeover. So we have she... experience. Hmm? Is where where is she? Do we even know? Is she? Yeah, she close? lives next door to us. What? She's in the next city over. <gasps> oh my god! I know. We should reach out and I know touch someone. I mean, get in contact. We know a couple uh, unicorns now. Yes, we do. We're starting we to collect three. unicorns. Yes, we yeah we are starting to collect them now. <laughs> so anyway, this was a couple. Okay. Um, who who had a friend who was a unicorn and yeah, uh, she was a little nervous and decided not to come out and play. But we weren't sure exactly who the group was going to be. We'd hoped that Greg and Marsha were going to be there. It turned out just Greg was there. Yes. Uh, or uh, Marsha was doing vanilla things. She couldn't yes. get away. Right. So we knew up front that the group was changing a little bit yeah. before we got there. Exactly. So we get there. We drive two hours. We get there. And it was, it was super quiet. We knock on the door. There was a yeah. side window open. We didn't hear anything. We're yeah, like, huh, no cars like, in the driveway. No, nothing. You know, not loud music. Like nothing. We're like, wow. Where is everybody? Backyard, garage. We're pounding on the door. I'm yelling through the window. All of a sudden, Ken comes running down the stairs. Do, 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 do. Hey guys, Throws. come on in. He's got his shorts on, no shirt. He's like. Comes comes to the door a little flustered and he's like, "Hey, I had to th- I had to quickly throw on some clothes. We were upstairs." Okay. Okay. <laughs> we, we get the nickel tour. Yes. We kind of wander through the living room. Cute, cute house. Oh yeah. Great, great place. Huge. Yeah, huge house. Mm-hmm. And uh, we wander out into the garage and he's kind of showing us his, you know beer collection and asking us what we'd like to drink at Mm -hmm. that point yeah so he's being a good host yeah there's a fridge out there and lots of drinks and things like that yeah and of course i can't sit idly by and you know the casual conversation was great the weather what people are drinking i decide to go see what are what his wife's up to yeah where's barbie so i wander upstairs (laughs) as i hear small faint noises <laughs> walk into the master bedroom and there's barbie barbie's naked with greg going at it oh, right yeah. there we're like what? party already started without us so of course i wander over and give her a nice smooch and mm-hmm. grab her boobs a little bit and uh, <sighs> come back downstairs to say hey i found him <laughs> i had I know where they're at, and I know what they're up to. <laughs> yeah, so we all go upstairs, and Barbie is getting spit-roasted by Ken and Greg. Right. My brain is working really hard. To remember. <laughs> oh, the names, yeah. The names. It's uh, Cause we work, the we Witness Protection really Program keep... for the podcast. Yeah, we want to keep everyone anonymous. Yeah, so I mean, there's a little bit of playing going on at this mm-hmm. point, but f- for the most part, they decide to wind it down and properly greet us. And, you know, I shake hands with Greg. And, um, we we st- start there. asking about what we'd been up to since the last time we'd seen them. Yeah. Because Keep... it's been since... Six months? March? Eight months? April? Oh. Yeah. It's been been a couple months. Okay. Or was it in February? I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember last what the year. Is. I don't even remember. So anyway, hmm. we're having casual conversation. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're talking about their their big trip coming up. They're going to Burning Man, and so mm-hmm. they're counting down the days. Mm-hmm. Forty three days till the gates open. <laughs> yeah. And we told them about the cruise and uh-huh. what we'd been on and what we, how much fun we'd had. Yep. And that was. You know, it was great kind of mm-hmm. reconnecting with them. Yes. Having just good conversation with people who we just clicked with. And Ken starts showing, starts to show us some very sexy lingerie. On oh, his... yeah. Special order lingerie. Mm-hmm. 
very sexy stuff, very strappy. Then we go downstairs. We get a little food, have some good conversation. I think at that point we started drinking a little bit, which of course oh, yeah. loosens people up a bit more. Oh, we were talking about whiskey. We were hearing stories about how Barbie's boss really likes bourbon. and Barbie loves bourbon, and I love oh, bourbon, and so I shared some of my yeah. bourbon. And Well, as things happen, eventually start people start touching, and I can't remember who started it, but I'm going to blame Barbie because she Probably. seems to be an instigator for a lot of this stuff, yeah. mm-hmm. which we just hate. I know. It's so terrible. <laughs> so... Touching starts happening. People start getting naked. We say we need more room. This is we need a bed because mm-hmm. this is this has got to happen in a different place. Mm-hmm. So we do. We all you know run upstairs, all five of us at this point. Mm-hmm. And speaking of strappy lingerie, you're wearing your puzzle box bra yes good way to describe that it took me a while to figure out how to put it on i usually don't have a problem taking them off but this one was a trick oh and, yeah and it was fun because greg decided to take on that challenge and <laughs> see if he could free them and he did he figured it out he did and boobs away off we go <laughs> Oh, man, so much fun. Oh, yeah. Just kissing, and you had two guys, and I had Barbie to myself, and... Barbie was spit-roasted. Oh, so many different combinations and trading places, and... I had a little butt play licking, which not not a fan of, but, you know, it was brief. <laughs> And uh, you and I had a little fun time together, and we had a little fun time with just about everybody else in the room. Was this where you introduced Barbie to squirting? Well, yes, it is. And Mm. she'd never squirted before. Mm. And uh, I I had her lined up on the edge of the bed and started playing with her with my fingers. And. She started making all the right noises, mm-hmm. letting me know that it was about to happen. Seven seconds later. Boom. She is making a mess all over the place. And oh, yeah. And in total disbelief, she did not realize oh. that it was going to happen. She wasn't oh, yeah. planning for it, wasn't expecting it. Nope. And it just it just hit her. Uh-huh. And made a nice little puddle <laughs> right there next to the bed. So uh, so sexy. Yeah, it was it was hot. It was so <sighs> hot. Love it. And of course, you know, you had to have your turn after that. Oh God, absolutely. So I ran downstairs, got one of our little safety mats. <laughs> safety mats. Laid it out. I, I like that better than the piddle pad because the piddle pads for a dog. Mine are pink. Yes. I'm and I'm on a dog safety mat. I like that. It's good. Yeah, yeah, we got to protect the bedding. Absolutely. Because it can be messy. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, lined you up on the edge of the bed, same spot. (laughs) Mm, Rubbing away. Nice little come hither. Come hither. And you did come hither. I did. All over. Which, of course, we love. We love setting you off and hosing mm. down the couple on the bed because it's sexy. And most of them are, most of the couple, actually, we've never had any complaints. Most people are just blown away. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Barbie was spit roasted. She had a lot of fun. Of course, she started early. She was, she was all warmed up. Mm-hmm. I had a little oral, I think. I had fingering and then it was like super hot yeah yeah we had the windows closed because the neighbors out the back are uh, well they're assholes so we shut the window (laughs) so we didn't offend the assholes Um, 
So even with the fan going, we're just roasting, you know, adrenaline's going, all that's going. Five bodies yeah. in a bed. Right. Lots of cardio fitness going on. We're hot. We're sweaty. We all... Go and we're expecting guests at any minute. Oh, See, right. Because we started the party <laughs> before the other the party guests starts. arrived. Right. We have this problem a lot where we just get the party started before <laughs> right. anybody else is even ready. <laughs> Favorite. Oh, and Favorite. the sun hadn't even gone down yet. It's a, it's like, what, seven in the S- evening? Something like that. Six? I don't know. It yeah. was... Oh, awesome. Amazing. So we go back downstairs. We're having a few <laughs> more drinks and a little bit more snacking and, you know, a few nibbles here and there in addition to the snacking. <laughs> and knock, knock, knock. The the new guests arrive. Still no unicorn at this point. No. But, but Peter, Peter and Jan, and Jan show, show up. up. <laughs> He's tall, slender, good looking guy. She's voluptuous, curvy, mm-hmm. dark haired, mm, very tasty. Mm-hmm. They come in and greet us, and we all say hi. We're having a good conversation. Get them drinks, of course. Get them started because mm-hmm. they're they're behind now. Right. In so many ways, they're behind because the party's already started. <laughs> right. And come to find out. That they're They're... new. Uh Uh-huh. They're new to the scene. Yeah. So Ken and Barbie try to bring them in. So we're almost vanilla hunting at this point. I think they dabbled a little bit. They'd played before. A little, but only with Ken and Barbie, I think. Right. And I don't know to what extent. It was never really explained. Yeah, I I got the impression that it wasn't very much. Right. So Ken and Barbie said, hey, you know, they're a little... New to the lifestyle. Be so gentle. Be gentle. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so we were respecting boundaries, trying not to be, you know. And we are. We're not we're not aggressive. We're no. we love first timers and, and newbies from the aspect that if they're enthusiastic and they're really curious and they want to play, mm-hmm. um, we're happy to help them with that. It's mm-hmm. the newbies that are still trying to figure out whether they want to be in the lifestyle or not that we're not so keen on. Right. And we hear a lot. I'm going to take that and expand on it a little bit. We hear a lot in the lifestyle where people don't like to play with newbies. Hmm. And I understand why they don't. And usually it's because they haven't they're not on the same page yet. They're still trying to figure out the rules, what they're comfortable with. And I totally get it. Absolutely. Been we, there, done that. Right. And we honestly don't have a, a problem with that. Cor- no, it, cord- it just makes it a little awkward to yeah. to, to play with them. Um, yeah. And the awkwardness comes in if there's, if there's disagreement or uncomfortableness. Right. But you can pick, I can pick up on that and sense it right away. And sure. I just, if the woman is uncomfortable, I will straight up ask her, are you comfortable with this? And she will tell me. Usually, so yeah. Yeah. it's, it's great from a woman's perspective to always check in with the other woman and, and you can, women, we can, we can see it. We can feel it. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway. Just like the deer in the headlights. Yes. Oh, yeah. Another story. (laughs) So they're semi-new. All right. Semi-new. Conversation proceeds. We're all having a good time. Phoebe's over on one side of the kitchen, and she and Ken are, you know, having a a nice intimate conversation, a little touching, a little rubbing going on. Ken's very touchy. Yeah, Ken's very touchy, especially with Phoebe, because... so easy to touch. So many nice, <laughs> soft, squeezable things. <laughs> I'm on the other side of the kitchen, it, just the counter. And come to find out, Barbie has been talking me up Oh, mm. to Jan. Mm-hmm. 
I don't like to brag. I don't think this is a thing, but everybody tells me I have a large penis, Mm -hmm. at least bigger than average. I'll leave it at that. So, of course, Jan wants to see it. And she's getting warm, so this makes it even easier because she starts taking clothes off and she's wearing this fishnet thing. It's like a bodysuit. Nipples are showing, butts out, (laughs) gorgeous dark locks just flowing down. She had the best hair. Oh, And, of course, I can't resist touching her, of course. So we start touching, and Barbie starts touching, and everybody starts touching, and pretty soon we're all worked up and... It's a touch best. We move... We move very quickly from the kitchen to the couch, which is right next door. It's a big couch, big sectional couch, perfect for three couples to have sex on. Oh, my God, yeah. Towels out so we can protect the furniture, of course, because sex is messy. Oh, yeah. It's the only kind of sex to have, messy (gasps) sex. Oh, I forgot. I was on the bar stool with my legs on oh, the yeah. bar and you weren't you Ken. rubbing yourself oh was i on rubbing? ken's leg i don't know i just remember i got the bar stool all wet oh and i apologize and i started to sop it up with a <laughs> dish towel <laughs> phoebe squirting again it was something i think i was fingering myself and he was watching i think i was masturbating in front of him This is becoming a trend for you. It is becoming a trend. (laughs) Phoebe gets naked, starts fingering herself for an audience. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That was fun. I totally forgot about that. That was fun. We had so much fun. So the the party moves. Obviously, it's organically growing in in intensity, (laughs) and we're all uh, moving in. And at some point... Barbie is with... But then Greg goes home. Oh, yeah. Greg goes home. That's right. Greg actually left before the party started yeah. again. Greg had a thing. There was a there was a lot more vanilla in the middle. I'm just not remembering much yeah. of that. Right. But, you know, typical conversation. We had some really good conversations with them before we started playing that night. Mm-hmm. Um, some pretty deep stuff. One of the things that we've really enjoyed with spending time with couples is really getting to know them, kind of understanding how they got to where they are. And you know, by the point that they meet us, there's history. There's a story there. And we're always mm-hmm. asking people, what got you into the lifestyle? How has it been working out for you? Have you had any problems? Because we're curious, because we've been through some, you know, ups and downs and struggles and trying to figure the whole thing out. Mm-hmm. And and we did. I'd had some conversations with Peter and Jan in the backyard. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were out there talking about how they'd gotten uh, into the lifestyle and, and where what they'd been through mm-hmm. um, in some of their their stories. And while you were back there, I was also talking to Ken and Barbie. They were sharing their story about their hiccups and challenges along the way. And it was really refreshing to hear. Not refreshing, but mm, I want to say, I guess it says a lot about the strength of a relationship and how you really value and respect that long life partner. When you have that respect and you have that trust, you can truly endure anything and you can move through challenges and trauma together. Right. And I, I admire that about people in the community. I keep hearing over and over, yeah, we fucked it up. Yeah, we screwed it up. Yeah, it almost broke us. But here we are today. We... We failed and we learned and we picked ourselves up again and we stopped and we started or we got out of it or we got back into it. It's all different for everybody, but they endured. Right. And it's those 
conversations that we have where we learn something about how people get through those hard times, what did they, what did they figure out? Like mm -hmm. there, there's gold in there. There's, mm -hmm. there's some really deep wisdom in terms of going through a struggle together and having the communication and the perseverance mm -hmm. and the, I don't know, just the, the grit to get through mm -hmm. that and, and stay together. And of course this lifestyle will, will test your relationship. Yeah. I it mean, tests your personal uh, fortitude issues, strength, absolutely confidence, everything. All right. Enough seriousness. This is supposed to be a party. No, I know. We're a little off. Not off track, but we're trying to give you the pluses and the minuses. So, you know, you right. get to hear when it's, you're getting to know other people, you get to hear some of their challenges, too. It's They're not real like porno, beings. right? There's an actual story going on in the background here. Absolutely. You know, yeah. it's it's not like I brought you a pizza. Do you want to see the sausage? <laughs> I mean, it's a little like that, but but not all the time. <laughs> but we're real, we're real people. We have real feelings. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of real and feeling, yes. we were all on the couch having a great <laughs> time. Everybody paired up. I was enjoying myself. Um, <laughs> flipped Jan over a couple times. Had her a couple different directions great time and considering that they were new they seemed to be really comfortable really comfortable which was great yeah, i know i i actually feel uh really good when you have a like a great interaction with somebody and it doesn't feel awkward and it doesn't feel you know forced and they just seem like they're having a good time yeah that feels like a compliment to me mm -hmm. that that everybody's just so comfortable because we're not pushy people. We're not grabby people. We don't, you know, we're not out for an agenda on right. this. Yeah. Um, we just genuinely enjoy having sex with people, mm -hmm. uh, each other and anybody else who wants to come along. It's it's so much fun to, to have these intimate connections with people. Mm hmm And I would look over every once in a while at the other side of the room and you were on top and... Barbie uh -huh. was on top and everybody was having a good time. And I think at some point we kind of wore ourselves out and I, I threw in the towel. I was like, it's 3 a.m. I am dog tired. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually we got, <laughs> you know, we'd taken a break for a little bit and we'd had some other stuff going on. I think we were still drinking a little bit and uh, eventually we went to bed. I didn't even realize what time it was until yeah. the next morning. And yeah, you're right. It was like 3 a.m. Uh -huh. uh, I got up at 4 and I was completely parched. Like I couldn't even swallow. Uh, went downstairs, got a bottle of water. And we slept in until the I morning. Don't even, I don't even know what time we woke up. I didn't look at my watch the whole time. Mm -mm. Oh, my no. Phone. The phone. Mm -mm. Phone was in my purse the whole time. There were way more interesting things to... <laughs> touch with my fingers than the phone <laughs> just w w why exactly <sighs> uh, so morning comes i hear this coming up i hear this comment early in the morning well first i feel like fingers touching and soft caressing so i know barbie's touching me and then i hear ken's voice and then i hear <laughs> Then I hear Barbie say, wow, she really takes her seat, her sleep seriously. I had the eye mask on. I had the sound machine on. I was, I was blacked out and sensory. You were just out. Masked. Yeah. All my senses masked. No, of course, I wanted sleep. My perspective is I'm mostly naked at this point. And here's Phoebe laid out on one side of the bed. And here's Barbie, who's just crawled into bed with us. Mm -hmm. She's in this lacy 
almost bra thing in panties and she's touching Phoebe and she's touching me and I'm sitting there with a hard on going, okay, how, how do I do this and which is politically correct? Do I wake the sleeping woman <laughs> or do I have sex with Barbie? But if I'm having sex with Barbie and Phoebe wakes up, and she's not in it. Yeah, that's not going to work out. Okay, so I'm just going to sit here and watch two mostly naked women touch each other while I wake up. <laughs> it was worth it. It was worth it. I was so tired. I kept yawning. I, I just couldn't wake up. I was so tired. We are not late night people. Uh, no, we're not. And and they kept making comments that they were going to make bacon. And I'm like, okay, I I need coffee coffee i know you want to play but i need coffee so they do they scamper off and they start cooking some breakfast Mm. and coffee and eggs eggs and bacon Mm. nice farm fresh bacon Mm -hmm. and uh yeah we come down and we're having a cup of coffee and just sitting on the couch next to each other and jan and peter there and yeah yeah they'd slept down downstairs and we were upstairs in one of the rooms oh, that's right and uh <laughs> well of course at some point barbie decides to come and sit next to me and i'm wearing these mm. well they're almost pants <laughs> they have holes in them top to bottom big holes in them so the, the, they're very comfortable <laughs> Very They're air breezy. conditioned. They're air conditioned. <laughs> and very sexy. Once again, she starts getting frisky and she starts rubbing my leg. And of course, you can see everything. So I she know. starts rubbing other stuff. Mm, Next thing you know, oh, it's, it's all not Barbie's fault. It's not breakfast anymore. Uh uh-uh. uh. It's dessert mm-hmm. after breakfast. Mm hmm. Oh, my God. So all six of us start going at it again. Uh And, oh, my God. So I'm having sex with Barbie. And Jan and Peter are behind me. And I can hear them going at it. Yes. Jan's on top of Peter. I'm on top of Ken. Right. Because he decides to, you know, join the fun. So here's all of us kind of lined up, uh-huh. all swapped up. Uh-huh. You're riding couch. Ken uh-huh. like crazy. Oh. Mm. And uh, you're you're leaned back and just mm-hmm. riding the crap out of him. I had his arms. I was holding on to his arms and leaning back and just. Just rocking. Oh, yeah. Rocking. Like a horse ride. Oh, bronco. <laughs> and, of course, you know, I've, I've got... You know, Barbie laid out backwards over the couch, and I'm just holding on to her waist for dear life and just pounding away. Hearing sex behind me, seeing your ass bouncing up and down <laughs> next to me. So it's just, I mean, it's sensory overload at this point. Like, there's just so much. But then I thought you were next to me with Jan or Barbie. Uh, that happened next. So... Jan leaves and comes over, and I switch from Barbie to to Jan, and Ah. Barbie goes over to To. Peter. Ah! Now, she's blowing him Uh and having fun, Uh and I've got Jan laid Uh out, Mm -hmm. and I'm having sex with her, and you're, of course, concerned for her neck because, you know, she's... Couches are not the best for no. having sex. They're they're a little too short. They, they just don't have the right configuration. It's fun, but it can be uncomfortable. Yeah. But yeah, we're all having we're all having sex at mm-hmm. this point, mm-hmm. and you know, a little swat and switch here and there, and it's just you know, we just woke up. It's a beautiful morning. We had a great <laughs> breakfast, and we're fucking. <laughs> Oh, it's like, so great. You can't, you can't write. Oh, my God. You can't plan so this stuff. I know. And at some point, somehow, you had Jen bent over in the middle of the living room. Oh, God. Yeah, I forgot about that I, part. I think I left to go to the restroom. I don't know. Maybe I went to go get more mimosa. 
And then I came back and... Oh, right. I had her bent over. And I put my hand... I love putting my, my hand on the tips of the nipples, just uh-huh. ever gently, so that when the nipple, when the boobs bounce... And they're rocking back and forth. That with they just... start to graze mm. over the, the fingers, the index, the middle, the ring, oh, the yeah. pinky, the pinky, the ring, the middle, the... Index, right. Back and forth, back and forth, bum, back and bum, forth, bum, back bum, and bum, forth. Bum, 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 brother. Like, oh, yeah. That feels so good. And mm. you guys have to try that. Yeah. So that set her off. She was clearly very nipple sensitive. And I, don't know, I think she came. It was freaking hot as hell. Yeah. She, uh, mm, she was fun. She was a lot of fun. <laughs> Everybody was fun. We had a great Everybody time. Everybody was so fun. Everyone so was so relaxed. good. And at some point, I'm just going to say it. Ken and Peter did a little swap swap. Yeah. Somehow they ended up together. And I don't know how that happened. I, I, missed, I missed the it. whole thing. Ken tells me that he got a little taste of Peter's cock or vice versa. He was like, I wanted to try it. I want to try it. I said, it's fucking fabulous. Awesome. Good I know. For you. And I absolutely love it. We have run into so many straight men that that are very comfortable in their sexuality. They're not bi, by definition. They're not. They don't define themselves. They don't define themselves as bi. Right. And they're primarily attractive to, attracted to women. Yes. But they've said to me, "Hey, you know, I this is the third person we run into now. You yeah, know, I'm not going to casually... I'm not going to turn down a blowjob. I mean, you know what? Hey, it felt fucking good. Right? I'm like, Psh. it's it's. It, I agree. It's absolutely fascinating, and and yeah, you're right. And it's interesting because we didn't see any of this the first few years we were in it, but uh-uh. now it's yeah. it's happening more and more. I just I love it. I love that people are opening and expanding their sexuality and being very comfortable in it. So, like all good things, they must come to an end at some point. <sighs> and we'd <laughs> fucked everybody silly at some point. We decided to be adults and go shower and what clean mean? up. mean? We were being adults. <laughs> we were being very adult. <laughs> very adult. And... The uh, the the couple started kind of going off to do their thing. It was a uh, it was a Sunday, so everybody had to uh, sadly start heading back to normal life, back to vanilla. Mm-hmm. And uh, Peter and Jan left. We yeah. we said goodbye to them. We had a great time with them. We we thanked them for all that. And then we went out for lunch because it was starting to get. A little yeah. later, and we didn't. We knew we had a two-hour drive, so we wanted to get some food. And we like beer, and so do Ken and Barbie. And so we decided to go hit one of the local breweries there in Sonoma. Mm-hmm. And so we drove over, had a great lunch, did the little brewery tour, had a good beer. I bought beer, mm-hmm. and then of course the inevitable two-hour drive home. We had a nice makeout session in the parking lot. Oh up against yeah, the vehicle. That's a little bit of that. We had to, we had to say goodbye properly. <laughs> it was so hot because we look like little guilty children because we here we are kissing each other's partner, making out basically. Yeah, I mean this wasn't like a peck on the cheek. I mean there was some. Yeah. Yeah. Intent to and do. people are walking around in their cars. It's a busy. Nobody even noticed. <laughs> didn't we're like Hee-hee. right out in the open anyway so sexy. it was great i know and we did we drove home and uh and have the memories to to live mm. forever uh, after that mm-hmm. it's so nice in conclusion <laughs> you never know who your neighbors are going to be yeah and what you might get into their bed their pants We hope you enjoyed this episode. We certainly enjoyed doing the research for it. And we hope you'll join us for our next episodes.
Absolutely. Keep swinging. Before you turn off our podcast to take care of all the vanilla things pulling you away, please reach out and give us a review. I am the first to admit that it is much easier to give a five-star rating, which we appreciate. But if you could take 43 seconds to type a review, we would love it. If you want to share a personal story, ask us questions, or share your comments, please contact us at swingeruniversity at gmail.com or tweet us at swingerupodcast.